Hey, it's Stephanie with the Stephanie O Show, and we are here on the set of Disco, and this is going to be a hit movie, no doubt about it. I'm here with Judy San Roman, who is one of the producers. Hi. Oh, How are you? Great to see you, Stephanie. Great to see you, too. And you know what's even better is this is a local Long Island girl, and I first of all, I love to see women involved in films. That's number one. But number two, we have a local Long Island lady. So how does it feel to be a producer on a film, on a Fred Carpenter film? I'm over the moon because I, he's been doing this over 20 years and made over 20 films in Long Island, lo largest indie filmmaker. And um, I'm aspiring to be where he's at. So when he approached me about this project and I read the script, I thought it was amazing. I mean, t I mean, it's a big mission to say, okay, I want to do a remake of Saturday Night Fever. I read the script. It's beautiful. I knew I wanted to be part of this project and also the original music that we have for the film. So it was a little bit before my time disco. So now to be living it, dressing like uh, 1979 and it's the end of disco. It's just amazing experience. Yeah, that was my time. And it just seems like it was yesterday. I don't know what happened. The time, these years have gone so fast. You turn your head and believe me, they'll go real fast. But I love your dress oh, and you look you. very authentic disco and this place is very authentic disco. It's and it's, it transforms you. It really is the cast, the crew, everything. The music comes in and you feel like you're in that time. So it's just a beautiful period piece. It's about 1979 and you think disco is not coming to the end and ordinary people become someone when they end up going to the nightclub. They're working all week for that nice shirt or those sparkly shoes and they come in and they just feel really special and it's just see the transformation of relationships. I play the lead Sammy, his sister, and he's going through something that I, I don't want to give it away but he's sick in the movie and um, you know we have tried tribulations, friendships, music, everything comes together beautifully for this film and I'm so proud to be associated with uh, with Fred Carpenter in this project. That's fabulous and I want to ask you one other thing because I know you're a writer also. Sure. Tell us about your writing. Well, I've been in love with writing since I was a little girl, and um, I actually uh, wrote my first film, and it should be screening in May. It's called In Sickness, and it's a feature. It's about schizophrenia and relationships, and uh, I just love creating, you know, like people love going out or sports, whatever. I just love putting pen to paper and making it happen. And when I see people and just, just or you know, stories, everyday stories, and just make them, sharing and making it relatable. And I think this film is very relatable. Well, that's great. I'm looking forward to your film. Oh, I'm not going to miss it. And I, I like, again, I, I will be there. So and in I sickness, yeah, look in sickness I will be there. <laughs> but I love seeing women like in films and women who are, are real hustlers and mm -hmm. really want to get what they want to get out of life so it's very nice to meet you oh, thank you so much and uh, much here. success in everything oh, thank you likewise it's thank stephanie you. with thank the stephanie o show like us on facebook <laughs> absolutely thank stephanie you. with the stephanie o show on 103.9 fm